So no Milwaukee, no Phoenix in the NBA Finals this year. There will be no rematch. It looked like that's where the two teams like they were headed. Now, Giannis and Tupapupo, who's the best player in the NBA, and I'm still going to say it, Greg Freak is still something else. Just wasn't enough. 25-20. He put up numbers, but he wore out of gas. Didn't have any shooters, and I still think his coach is suspect. I know without Chris Middleton, but they did not make necessary adjustments. Only a Brooke Lopez could have played like he did in Game 7 and Game 6. Who knows? But Boston was a better team just than Jason Tatum and Brown and came up and hit big shots. Um, they got some great contribution from the bench. They came up big. You know, better coaching. They played better. I want Miami to tear their behind up because I'm a Heat fan, but Boston, and they got some favorable calls too. Phoenix side, though, Luka tore their behind up. I'm not ready to say the baby bird, but I will say this about Luka. He can score, and he's a handful, and you better bring your game because he will fig- he figure it out. Watch out. But Chris Paul, who's one of the most overrated point guards ever, and he is not top five. He's bottom in of the top ten if you want to be nice. You know, Patrick Beverly was taking some shots at him, and I understand why. Especially in the postseason, this turkey don't do jack. I mean, he is Casper the Friendly Ghost. And Devin Booker, Fallen, Kobe, Mamba, and all that crap, more like Paul George Light. More like Pandemic P or Pandemic B. They ain't do nothing. Dayton got benched. I mean, they just look soft. They are a fun team to watch play. And I think Coach Mario Williams is one of the best coaches going. I'm a big fan of his, but they soft. They soft. They got punked by Milwaukee in the finals, and they came back, and Dallas got punked them, and they soft. And I'm sorry, there's a reason why people just kind of don't look at them like putty. They look a lot like, but Gary Payton was a better player, and Sean Kemp was better than what, what, what Phoenix got inside. But the, this Phoenix team reminds me a lot of them 90 Sonics. Without the grit, without the Gary Payton grit or Nate McMillan grit and Sean Kemp hanging. They, but that Sonics team just didn't have a center. And George Carl lived on that three ball. He was about 30, 25, 30 years premature. But this situation is just soft, like tissue paper soft. And they, you know, I don't want to hear no more about all these guys and all that. And not that good. And Dallas going to play Golden State. That could be interesting series. But Luka ball, but you can't. (laughs) You saw the contrast, you know. You saw the contrast of how you don't finish up. And Chris Paul got no one. He looked, he started, he turned 37 after game two or three. He looked every bit of it. Last five games, he stunk it up. He looked, oh, he looked like Cliff Paul from the All-State commercial. Just was not there in Booker, too. I mean, they... Hmm. They got out coached, out hustled, our man. Jason Kidd did a great job, made adjustments, beat that butt. Anyway, give me your thoughts. It takes about no Milwaukee, no Phoenix in the finals this year. Going to be two different teams. NBA parody is working the way they want it. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments. And I am also over on Patreon, so feel free to pay me a visit if you can. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another. And um, NBA parody is right what they want. And then they got what they want. But one of these teams will reemerge again, and I got a big old message for you. It won't be Phoenix. I'm out.